This is Chad with Tippy.com, and today I'm going to take a look at task paper uh, for the iPad. This is a fantastic, very simple task management application. Uh, it's based on lists, so you can see I have a list for November, I have a list for October. These are all done items. I started at mid-October, so it's not very long. Here's like a little welcome uh, section, a little note that gets you started. But basically what happens is, is that as you complete something, you can mark it off your list. So, as an example, I have record video for task paper right here. I can just swipe a line over it. And I have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Kindles vs. iBooks blog post did that too. So we'll swipe that off. Now as you go through the list, uh, you pretty much can find things that you want to do and pretty much uh, scratch them off. However, as your list grows, it can sometimes be frustrating to have all of these lines marked across. So up top, you can say archive your done items, and it puts them in an archive at the bottom of, the, of your list. Super, super great. Now you can filter your list too. So you can see I have things that are a project done and today. And so I can look at done, and it's gonna show me just my done. I can look at today, I don't think I have anything for today. And I can look at my project, so it's kinda nice. If I go back up top here, I can also send these as an email, rename the document, tag the document, and of course sync it. Of course I can toggle back and forth uh, between them as it's synchronizing. And, and this basically follows Mark Forrester's uh, autofocus system, which works really, really well. You can uh, add a tag by simply tapping, I should say double tapping anywhere, and do an at tag. So I can say at uh, review. All right, and hit done. And now down at the bottom, you can see I have an at review. Pretty nice, really simple. Uh, <clears throat> and you can also search. So if I was doing something for Tippy, it went ahead and filtered that down to the item for Tippy, which is very, very nice. Now if I rotate, let me rotate this down, you get a nice full screen to work with. Uh, up top, I can add a new task, I can search and I get my little menu to sync. New document basically means new project. So <clears throat> if I was working with uh, multiple real projects, I'd probably add those as their own separate documents. That way a little more manageable, and then I have my autofocus lists for my, my standard documents. Now I pretty much have, my goal is to have one of these for every month and see how manageable it is. It's not too bad so far, so, so pretty slick. Um, but in the end, I have a lot of nice things to say about this. Uh, in the future, in the next version, supposedly, um, Hogbay Software says they're going to add Dropbox support, which will be a nice addition. Uh, but other than that, uh, it is a universal app. It's $10 currently on the App Store. That price is always likely to change. But uh, it is universal, works on iPhone, iPad, and uh, iPod Touch, has built-in sync service currently, and is moving to Dropbox. So if you're looking for a very simple, elegant solution, as opposed to, let's say, getting things done with Evernote, which certainly does work, but it's very involved, this is really easy. You just swipe off, whoops, you just swipe off um, what you've completed, and that's it. That's simple. So again, this is task paper for the iPad.